At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can get cash back on your purchases at Walmart, Home Depot, Tractor Supply, and many more. Stick around until the end of the video. Today on VintageSnowmobileLovers.com, we're in Lancaster, New Hampshire at Crane's Snowmobile Museum. And our good friends Mitch, Midge Rosebrook and Paul Crane are just about to give us a tour of the museum. How you doing guys? Good, good. Good. Before we get started, Paul is the first person in the U.S. ever to ride a snowmobile. Do I understand that correctly? A, mo a skidoo. A skidoo, okay. A skidoo only. I skidoo. wasn't the first to ride a snow machine. I'm the first one to ride a skidoo. Nice. American. and First American to ride a skidoo. Nice. In Canada and here. Excellent. Not many people can lay claim to that. I don't believe so. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> awesome. start down this this row here all right uh, everybody can understand what the uh, just by looking at them what they are so we'll go down this row here first and then we'll On the end wall here, we have some some of the clothing. Most of them are practically mine and the family that wore that road things. Nice. Right, so these are yours from back in the day, you lot, and your family. A lot of them are. <coughs> I would say that eighty percent of them are. Nice. And at the end here is a Scatmobile, which was rare. It's got three real big bloom tires. It's made, it was made out in uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan, and I met the guy years ago, and he was driving a Stanley steamer up his driveway, and I told him I just picked one of those up, and I'm going to start a museum someday, and he said, I'm going to give you something, young man, something that nobody has, my first sign that was put on the factory. And it's a plywood sign. It's a little rough, but I was going to cut the bottom part off where it's rotten, but I just figured it'd lose the value of it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Wow, that is awesome. That's quite a gift to receive. Yeah. Outstanding. Cool. Then I got patches on the back wall. Oh, yes, yeah. Patches on the back wall. And Let's see if I can get in a little closer on those. <clears throat> and up on the rack over here, we got some of the small snow machines. I remember the kitty cat from back in the day. Yeah. Then we got the 1926. Model T snowmobile, which is a foot narrower than the average snowmobile, and if you look at the running board, it says snowmobile right on it. Really? Which is rare. Right here on the step? Yeah. Wow. And what year was this, Paul? You said 1920-something? 1920 1926 is the plate. Oh, yes, yeah. Wow. I usually give rides when the snow is deep. I haven't done it this year yet, but I will be. Nice. And then some more mini sleds mini up top. Mini sleds on the top. And then over in the corner here we have some, some more mini snows plus a couple old sleighs. Nice. 
Nice, and then these are some of the early mass produced ski doos. This is a 61 ski doo with the wooden skis. This is a 61 ski doo with the replaceable steel skis because the wooden ones we'd go out in the field and we'd break them. Huh. Wow. Now that first sled that you rode, was it s similar to this one? or Just like that. Just like this one? Yeah. Wow. But it was a 1960. 1960, okay. Yeah, I have one, but I haven't got it over here yet. Okay. Really? Yeah. Wow. That one has got 200 and something miles on it. Unreal. That's a nice shape. And I think they stopped making those in what, 2005 or something? They stopped. The Elite? 2004 and 5, I think they made a silver one. Yeah. yeah. A much more modern looking one. Yeah. Was that the last year, do you know? Yeah, it was. It was, okay. I like that TNT. Bill Silver. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, I see a, a shift lever on that. Did that have reverse? Yes, reverse. Yeah. Nice. And did it have like a low gear for? No, it's yeah, just the regular. Just a reverse? Yeah. Okay. But it's, it's mint. It's only got 200 and something miles on it. Nice. A buddy of mine growing up had a silver bullet like that. Then we have the 64 tin cab motor ski. Wow. Which they didn't make very many of them. Then a 65 motor ski. Then a racing motor ski, which is a 64 her up there. And then this here was a 500 racing sled that apparently, so I've been told, the factory had it, yeah. Motor ski factory had it. Wow. That's cool. And then a Zephyr, which is all original. Wow, 1970, yeah. I remember these Nuvix back in the day. Yeah. My father's friend had one just like that. Then a pink motor ski that was made from a friend of mine for his daughter. Wow. That is cool. You don't see those every day. No. It's got some ski spreaders on there, too. Yeah. Keep it stable. His daughter wanted it pink. Nice. And this here is a rare 340 motor ski bullet. Wow. And the 340 Sonic, Supersonic, Pro, Pro Sled. Then the race in Northway. They may only made 21 of them. 21, 21 wow. Sleds, yeah. That's a real big hood. Does that mean there's a real big engine underneath? Or? Yeah, it's a, it's a 440. 440, yeah. yeah. Nice and this racing cat. Then a 76 Snow Pro. Nice. Yeah. That's one of the cooler looking sleds ever to be on the snow, I think. And then the Husky. Yes, yeah. Of course the RV. It's the new RV that they raced in 75. Nice, those were awesome. The snow cruiser, which was a repeat of 500, which, as far as I know, there's only four of those in existence. Four of those, wow. 
That's amazing. There's one in uh, New Brunswick, I understand. I've seen that one. And I understand there's one up in Peterborough where they came from. And I don't know if the one's still in New Jersey or not, but there was one down there. Nice. We had one like this when I was a kid. It was a consumer model, though, not the Starfire. That was fast. Even the consumer model, the 250, was really fast. I found an amazing free app that gives you cash back on your purchases at Walmart, Home Depot, Macy's, Target, Sears, eBay, Amazon, Petco, Sam's Club, Tire Rack, AutoZone, Tractor Supply, and thousands of other retailers. Plus, this free app also gives you printable discount coupons at thousands of retailers, restaurants, hotels, and more. If you're like me, you're already spending money at these retailers and restaurants. So why not get cash back on your purchases and the deepest discounts possible? Click the link in the description to sign up for your free app so that you can start getting cash back and deep discounts on purchases you're already making. Thanks for viewing and have a great day. This video was created by Mike at BCJ Digital Services, that's me, and I can create a video just like this one for your business. It's easy and it's surprisingly affordable. All I need from you are some digital images and a few details about your business or offer. Once I have finished your video, we can upload it to your Facebook page and run a paid promotion to put it in front of thousands of Facebook users who live within 10 to 50 miles of your business. Let's face it, everyone is on Facebook today and video is the most powerful and most effective way to get their attention. Like I said, creating a video for your business is easy and it is surprisingly affordable. Call me today to get started or if you have questions. My direct phone number is 480-626-0055. Thanks for viewing and have a great day.